Howdy folks, welcome to episode 9. We're going to pick up where we left off with, uh, we, I just added the 8 cordwood to this, and there was an update too, I'll show you in a second. Uh, there's a couple things. But yeah, let's see what we've got for output here. We've got 6 raw iron, and we've got 12 rails. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to add, we want to add our uh, track here. We're going to have to build some track today. So one of them is going to be here. And I think we're going to need to start up here somewhere. Let's see how high up we want to go here. Um, we'll probably use the wall. And um, so, yeah, they did an update. And it doesn't seem like they changed too much stuff that's going to affect me, really. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so it's not going to be that big of a deal, I don't think. But let's see if we can get this. Because we want to basically make this where it's like we stay pretty much level with this. There we go. And I'm not sure if it'll be able to reach up that high. It's going to be interesting to see. Let's see if, whoops, not that five, this five. Yeah, we're going to want to bring it a little bit back this way. Okay. So I'm not sure if it's going to reach like that. Am I stuck? I'm stuck between those two. Interesting. Okay. Um, and it looks like it's going to be lower than that, isn't it? Okay. That's going to be lower. All right. Let's hook this on here. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's going to load up the cars. I don't think it's going to work. Okay. Let's demolish rails. We're going to bring this a little bit lower then. So I think we'll bring this down to, should we just keep it at that level that that one's at? And then worry about our. Yeah, I think we probably should do that. So let's go like this. We're going to go like this. Yeah, see, that does need to be higher than that because that's not. That is totally not sufficient. Okay. <laughs> that's not going to do it. All right, let's bring this up as much as we can here. And then uh, we'll figure it out. So what we need to do is. is um, yeah, it's, it's too bad I. Too bad I have to re figure this out. That's a word, right? Okay. <laughs> we'll try this again. So I think this is where we want to be. We're going to start like right there. That looks like it should do it. Okay. It's not going to be too, too high up and all that. Okay. So we want to be, we want to stay level here for a little bit at least when we're doing this, right? Okay. And then we're going to go like, this and I want to go come all the way across. Can we get up this? Can we get up on the top of this? No, ah, oh, that's too bad. Okay, because I want to come up this here. I want to come up to this and we're going to come down like that 2%. Okay, so this is what I want to do. I want to come out like this and we're going to set up our. No, I should have gotten in. I should have gotten in there. Let's see if we can teleport on here. There we go. Let's get on top of there. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put our um, 45. We're going to use our 45 crisscross. So we're going to use one of these a crossover, and we're going to put that on here. And I think is it is it like this? I think it's like this. It must be the other one. What is it linking on? Yeah, okay, like that. That's what we want to do, except we want the other <laughs> the other side. Ah, that's awesome. What is that? Okay, that is just truly bizarre. Okay, let's try demolishing this one here. What is that even doing? What did that connect to, right? Let's try that again. But yeah, so we want to place one of those. And I, the thing is, we are going to need to do that here. There we go. Okay, so I think what we can do is we can arrange this piece of track here so that it fits onto this one and then this one. I think we can do that. And maybe... Yeah, yeah, I think we can get that to happen. So we can arrange 
rearrange this track and then do our crisscross here and then everything should be fine and then this is going to go up to here this looks like it's going to be nice and level and it's not going to be too high i wish we could do this without losing our iron or put it back with the with our thingy here but let's demolish should we demolish this rail yeah because we need to put in we need to put in a switch here and where are we going to put the switch we're going to put it closer up i think yeah okay let's get this here and then what we're going to do is we're going to put a switch from there to there and then we're going to change this switch here i think so let's demolish this piece of track here and then we're going to try to make this do a better thing so we're going to go like this see we'll make this connect up that way a little bit better so let me see yeah we'll go like this and then we'll put our switch here so we need this switch um that's gonna be switched to the left and which side do we want the switch on we want the switch on that side yeah and i don't think it matters whether we put ballast on it or not it's gonna be horrible horrible either way it's gonna be sick and wrong either way right and let's see if we can get this to do do we want it on no we want it on the other end okay no we want it on the non-curved end so that's going to be this one yeah this one i think if we could, it'll let us there we go nope that's totally wrong backwards there we go and we'll see if we can get that to show up no <laughs> nope all right we'll get rid of this one there we go okay now we should be able to put this switch is that on the that's on that side okay try that there we go okay so that should be able to hook to that we're gonna get rid of this this one I'm trying to decide whether we should get rid of that one first I think what we need to do is we need to go like this we're gonna go bridges and then this is going to connect is that really going uphill like that? Huh, that didn't seem like it should have been. Oh, we're, we're at two, minus 2%, two that's why. Okay. I think that's right here. Yeah. Try it on this side. Is the other end doing that too? I think the other end is trying to do that too. It's doing that thing. Okay, let's try this. Go like this. We're going to hook onto that. There we go. Okay, we got that end. And then we're going to come down to here and we're going to try to connect it to that see it is lower is it not going to let me it's not going to let me connect it okay i'm going to have to put stuff underneath it all right that's fine for right now we're not going to worry about that what we're going to do is we're going to reconnect this wall here with this down here There we go. It's, it really, there we go, okay. It really didn't want me to exist there. All right, it's trying to put me inside that. And then one more thing we need to do is we need to put a switch in here. And so I think what we should do is we should start at this end here, wherever it is. There's our link. And then we're gonna go, um, like that we're gonna come down at two percent like we were doing right is that what we were yeah I think that's what we were doing we we're coming down at two percent and then we're gonna click that here and then we're gonna take out this chunk here demolish rails this one and then we'll put in our switch so we should be good to get all this and then what we're going to need to do is we're also going to need to go build at the um 
at the uh, the which call it here. Let's go like this if we can. Do we need to be down here? Yeah. Okay. We need to go build at the coal, the real coal mine, not the not the iron mine that I keep calling a coal mine, but the actual coal mine, coal mine. <laughs> All right. Let's go like this. We're gonna teleport here so that we can make this connect and get that. There we go. Perfect. Okay, and then we're also gonna to need to connect our other um, our other thingy here. Let's get this one, one more thingy here. We're gonna to have to connect this line all the way down to the coal mine. So let's see if we can get this to, there we go, perfect. Okay, so then we can just get rid of this and we can connect this end to that end is what we'll do. So we're gonna demolish rails here, this one, if it'll let me. Is it is it not seeing? There it is. Okay, I had to stand on it. All right, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll just move the end of this to match the end of that. So that should all work itself out. We are gonna have some level change on here because this is going to match up with that. And I, honestly, I kind of think we should, no, we do need to kind of curve out because we don't want to be coming in at such an angle, I think. I'm kind of thinking it might be better. Let's try it. Let's see what it happens if we go like this and we connect this one here to this down here, all the way down here, like that. Does that look better? Yeah, I think it does. I think that works better. Okay, so let's go like this. We'll demolish these rails. Demolish these rails here. And then we're gonna have to clean out some of the trees. So I did update my, um, I did update my editor so that I could get the trees fixed. And they are fixed up like on the other the other spot where we had the huge open area and it looked ridiculous. Um, yeah, I got that fixed. So here's one of the things they did is they changed where this note goes. So as you can see, it goes in the middle. And so you can now see, uh, yeah. And they did, they did some, I don't know, they were all like things that didn't seem to affect me. So I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, I might even want to not come out so straight it almost seems like I should come out of the last segment there and go straight to this instead of coming wide around this corner but I think that's fine it's fine we're gonna be going slow through that anyway okay this just seems weird with all these walls doesn't it it seems like it should just deal with the hills instead of doing all that but we're gonna go like this we're gonna make a wall here and I think we need to come down to the level of the the coal mine in order to do all this stuff. So I'm gonna have to look at that. So we might what we might do is build down to the coal mine. See, this is gonna come around here. I, th what I wanna do is I wanna bring this down so that we can see what our level was at. There we go, when we get around this corner. So let's go all the way down here, as long as we're teleporting around and stuff, we're going to go down to the coal mine here in a second and start there and work our way around so that that way we're at whatever level we need to be here. Because I remember we didn't have to do any climbing or anything when we were doing that. So, But yeah, let's go over here and I'll show you what we fixed here. As you see, there's our bridge. Let's go under. Let's go on the bridge instead of under it. There we go. So as you see here, see we filled we filled all the stuff back in, which is pretty cool. Filled in all the trees, so now it's nice and uh, not hideous, right? <laughs> it's nice and cleaned up. And then the other thing um, I wanted to do is I think we need to get Betsy fueled up eventually here too, because we're gonna have to take. Betsy back out to get those things but we also need to get some more um, we need to get some more lumber and so I think we're gonna have to do we're either gonna have to bring Betsy all the way back this way to get the lumber 
or we're going to have to bring um, we're going to have to build tracks to this sawmill. But I think we'll save that sawmill for later because we're going to be doing enough building today with all this stuff. And you know what else I need to do is I need to do this because um, it changed the options. Gameplay, night length, there. Otherwise it's really gonna it's really gonna do we can do partly cloudy or we can even do rain thunderstorm. Yeah, let's do a thunderstorm. Alright. Back, continue. There we go. Okay. What time of day did it change to? It must have done like seven AM or whatever. Okay, yeah, see it's kinda weird that it's doing this. Is it gonna leave the switch thing there now? Is it really gonna do that? It's just gonna leave Oh, that's terrible. Continue. Is Did I have... Oh, did I have that up when I hit the escape key to change the thing? I'll bet that's what it was. So if we go back down to Betsy... Let's do this and get another one to pop up. Because then it'll it'll make it go away. Yeah, see? Okay, cool. There we go. So, is that a bug? If you do this, and then you hit escape, and you go to the menu, and you hit continue... No, it went away that time. Okay. Well, that's cool. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to, um, I think we're going to start out and and make our track. Eventually, we're going to make a track that comes around this side to the coal mine and then around. But I think for right now, we're going to do minimal connections needed. I mean, the other thing we could do is we could make this track come around this side and then go all the way back around up to here. To come around which way do we want to do that right this is the question and it's actually kind of a kind of a tricky question isn't it and the coal mine coal mine needs beams and is the other one rails yeah okay all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our tracks here we're gonna put in our tracks so that we can, there we go. Is this gonna need to be, there we go, 1%. Like that. Okay, that's our loading and unload. See, it almost seems like it needs to be out a little bit farther. Because this needs to be all the way like that. No, that'll still land in the car. Yeah. I mean, it shows the pile right there. Okay, yeah, that's fine. All right, so we need to go... We need to put a switch on here again. Because we are going to have... We are going to want to turn in here. Eventually. So let's get our switch. And we'll put... It's going to go to the right. And we want our... Switch to be on this side. And we're going to go like this. Oh, it's going to do that again, isn't it? Is it going to do that? Nope. Okay, that seems really not cool. Alright, we're going to go, we're going to do a switch to the left then. So that we have a switch to the left going off here. And that's going to be this side. Nope, other side. Is that right? Yeah, we just want this to be aimed a little bit more this way. So let's get rid of this and we'll try this again. I think what we're going to do is we're going to use our switch left. And we're going to go like this. <laughs> I like the, I like the, uh, I like that thing. Okay, so we'll get this turned as much as we can this way, I think. And then we'll bring this out. Why is it so much higher up there? Why does the switch want to be way up above where the track is? Does that seem messed up to you? There. Okay, so if we do that, that should leave us... See, that's going to be a little... That's going to be pushing it a little, isn't it? bring this out a little bit more and then it's gonna go even yeah it's gonna go even more 
<laughs> Let's go try this again. All right, switch left. They need like a height thing where you can just manually drop it lower. There, we'll try that. That should leave room, yeah, that should leave room for our things. Okay, and then we're gonna demolish this and we're just gonna put whatever track will fit here. And we wanna go 1%. Let's come back here so we can see. Yeah, that, that looks like it'll work if we do something like that. There we go. Okay, and then we should be able to just make this come up on the end. 0%. Will this let us place the track here? Oh, I need the taller track, apparently. Okay, let's do that. Taller track. That's a technical term for it. And then... <laughs> and then we'll go like this. There we go. Okay. So we've got that end, and then what we need to do is we need to start on this and just start going. So let's go... like that. And we'll see how far we can get here. Our incline is zero. Okay, our incline should... Whoops, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Our incline should stay at zero. I think we should be able to go all the way across this whole thing with no incline. So, let's see where we can kind of hit our edge of the thing here. Is it really... There we go. Is that going to... We did hit a couple rocks, if you recall. So we do want to be careful about where we're going on this. Was that in this or was that in the valley? I, I think that might have been in the valley. But I think we did hit a rock in this segment at one point. Okay, so we're going to want to go across this bridge. I think we're going to need one of these tall bridges to do this. And we'll go around like this. Whoops, nice. Our incline's gonna be zero. Where is it? There it is. So we wanna come up to where we're on the edge of this. It just seems like it's, it seems like it's going uphill. It's just, it's just me. <laughs> it's totally just me. I think we're probably gonna end up going in the same places we did last time, right? I don't know, we'll see. So we're going to want to go like this. Is it really going... I, th I don't know, I, I don't remember having this much bridge, do you? Last time? Did we have that much bridge last time? Let's see, let's see where this goes. And I think we need to clear out some of these trees, too. Let's see if we can get some of these it out. Is it going to let me cut any of them? Cut. Go away. Stupid tree. There we go. No, it looks like it's... Okay. Okay. It looks like it's going to be okay. It's not going to go through the ground or anything. Alright. I just wanted to make sure it, it just felt like it was going to go jut through some piece of ground somewhere. I'm almost thinking that other segment is a better way to go at the beginning, but we'll try to continue on this. We'll see what we can get. Almost want to do a truss bridge across this, right? Okay, what are you knocking off? She's knocking my speakers off. See, I think maybe we came... I don't know, did we come up to that level and then... No, because this doesn't even stay level. So no, we definitely didn't. I'm trying to think of where we went last time. Okay, so if we go like this, and we stay on this, I think that's where we went through this little valley here. Yeah, okay. I think this is where we had to go through the inside of this, and that's where we made our ridiculous sharp turn because we went on the inside of that one. 
So we'll stay on the outside of this one this time. There we go. And then we're going to go this way. And then, yeah, this is where we turn. Okay. This is our big wide turn that we want to make. And we want to stay pretty much on the outside of this area. Like that. A little bit more. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Does that look a little sharp? It looks a little sharp, but I think it's... I think it'll do okay. We'll see. We can adjust it if we need to. But we'll go like this, and then we need to come back in against the wall. Whoops. Back in against the wall here. If we can get out to here. I think that's our spot right there that we need to line up with. If we can. Or the next one over here. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, we're gonna need we're we're gonna need to line up with that. I think we need to stay outside of that if we can. And try to go like this. Okay, so let's teleport back up onto the top of this. That yeah, is gonna look a little sharp, isn't it? We'll see. We'll see how it does. We get to drive through it first. Whoops. Did I miss? I missed. Teleport here. There we go. Okay. We're just going to keep going on this. And see how much... Whoa. See how much we can get. I swear this seems like it's, it's a different elevation than we were at before. I seem to remember it going a lot more um, just on flat ground, like a long flat ground instead of this kind of deal. See if we can get this, I think it needs to come in this way a little bit. There we go. And then it's going to come around like this. So we should be able to get this, we should be able to get this put in and then we can, I can remove all the trees. And we'll see how it's going to do. Let's check out on our map where we are. Not sure where we're going to be here. Oh, we still got a ways to go. Okay. But it looks like, yeah, right here, we should be able to follow along this. So we should be good. As long as we stay on this level, we should be able to... This looks like the last um, chasm we're going to have to go over. And then we should be okay. Whoops. There we go. We should be go okay from here on out. So, do we want to... What's, what's that going to look like coming back this way? I can't see it. Yeah, I think that's okay. Alright. I'm going to go like this. I mean, we can... It, I thought that was going to be the last chasm, wasn't it? <laughs> But we got to go across another one, don't we? Okay. Is it is it way up here? It is way up here. Okay. We're gonna go like this. Is the storm getting annoying yet? <laughs> there. That should be the direction we want to go. And then we're we'll just go like this. And then I think the rest of it, the rest of the way, we can probably make the stone walls. So let's try that. We'll see. I was thinking that we might be able to, to do the truss bridge across one of these straightaway things, but it doesn't look like we're going to have a, an occasion to do that, really. Maybe this one. Maybe across this. Okay, so we'll go like, let's get this lined up. Yeah, that looks... I think it's getting dark out. Is it really? It must. I must have made it midday then. Huh, that looks cool, the lightning over there. That lightning looks cool. I don't think we've looked at that since, since we got into this one. Okay, so let's go with our truss bridge. Whoa! I almost, I almost fell right off. 
like last time. Didn't we do that last time too? Where I totally just fell off the bridge. <laughs> One more. And I think that should, yeah, let's see. Big truss bridge. Six trusses. You can't see anything? What? What do you mean you can't see anything? <laughs> All right, I can't even tell where we're going here. Let's go like this and see if our wall is gonna allow us to continue here. Yeah, it will, okay. So we're gonna come up here with our wall. I have no idea which direction we need to go here. I can't see the terrain. There it is. So we're gonna go like this along this. And let's check out where we are. We're getting there. Okay, so we just need to follow this. Cool. Looks like we just need to follow this level here and stay on this. Stay on this little plateau here. Okay. We might even need to come up a degree, a percent. Yeah, it looks like we need to come up a percent. Okay. And let's check out which direction. Are we going like that? It looks like we're pointing about the right direction, doesn't it? I'm gonna come a little bit this way. Let's see how that looks. Yep, that's where we wanna go, okay. And then we're gonna do this. And we're gonna, we're gonna stay level, I think. And then we'll try to come around to this. We could probably even do a radius. Let's do a turn radius. Um, Go like this, and we'll come around to uh, here. 300. There we go. Let's see where 90 meters brings us. See, 90 meters is even too sharp. Where is it at? Where'd it go? There it is. Like this. 110. See, because we want to come around that corner. 150. Okay. Let's try this. We're going to continue with our 150 and see where that goes. Because we want to basically go this way. All right. Looks like the sun's coming up. Let's, yeah, let's change the weather again. Options, gameplay. Time of day, 0600. We're gonna change to clear or partly cloudy. Let's do partly cloudy. Back, continue. We're gonna save the game too. I know it's been auto saving every five minutes, but yeah, we'll change it. So they had some, th there is some issue with the brakes they said that basically it's not allowing them to set the brakes to like uh, a different number other than like all on or all off so that's one of the issues they're fighting with let's see where our oh yeah that should be nice we can just come around a nice big sweep here because that'll let us like go this way if we need to yeah that looks like it'll do well okay so we want to meet up with this one. We could probably run a segment of track from here to here now. Let's see if we can just do that. Let's go like this. We're going to run a wall. And we're going to go like that. And we're going to teleport to here. And see if it'll let us connect. Let's see what that looks like. Because that'll just give us 
that'll just give us our oh that's going to go through the ground okay but we'll see that'll that'll at least tell us where we need to go from here wow that's going really way up there isn't it huh it's really elevated okay so yeah that'll tell us where we need to go so we're going to go back to this segment over here and where was it right up here right missed we're gonna go up on top of it teleport here all right so we need to which way are we looking here I think we need to go back this way this away there we go okay we're gonna clear out some of these trees too so let's go like this we're gonna do some logging if we can so we can see where our track is going to be and everything we don't have to fight against that all right so let's look here and see if we can find is it really not taking those away go away let's see if we can find our junction here I guess we're gonna have to hold down the we're gonna have to put a piece of track in hand and see where the link shows up <laughs> is that it right there that wasn't it right there okay I know I can go back to the other one and just delete it there too okay we'll get we'll get some of these cleared out and then we'll worry about looking down at the link We'll figure it out. But we do need to... Yeah, let's get the trees out of here, too, because we're going to need to go over a little bit to the side to get out of there. Yep. Okay. That's what we need to worry about is right there because that's going underneath the ground. So we're going to have to come out a little bit wider. Let's get that tree out of there. All right. So let's see. Where is our joint between tracks? Get that one. I am not seeing the link between tracks here. It should be out here somewhere. I mean, we can just delete that other piece, but then I want to be able to get the right height. And it's not... <laughs> All right. It's not going to let me. Okay. Well, let's do this then. Let's grab our track here. We're going to do our wall and we're going to find our link point. Let's get the light out of there too. See if it'll show us where the link is. It's got to be right up here somewhere. Usually it's a big gap that's mighty visible and you're probably all yelling at me like, it's right there you idiot! <laughs> See if we can find the link here. It's got to be before it turns here, doesn't it? Because I don't think we... I don't think we turned. Nice. <laughs> yeah, she's bumping into the mic, too. Yeah, I don't think we turned here. There it is. We found it. We just went right... Yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, it's invisible this time, isn't it? It was right there. Huh, that's weird. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to come out here... Is it on circle mode? No, it's not on circle mode. There we go. Okay, what's it wanting to do? Oh, is it trying to it's trying to go backwards. Okay. We need to go the other way. Is it gonna let me? No, it's not going to. Okay. Let's try this again. This way. And we're gonna go like that it's still doing it I think we need to come from this direction like this like that let's try it now <laughs> is it still gonna do it it's still gonna do it uh, come on <laughs> stupid thing all right let's try 
10. There we go, 10 degrees. Is it finally gonna, yeah, it's finally gonna let me. Okay, cool. And then we'll see what kind of, minus 1%, one and a half, 2%. Really? Huh, okay. It looks like, yeah, it's gonna be between two and a half and 3%. Whoops, it's gonna be between two and a half. So what we can do is we can just do this and come around two and a half percent and we'll hit the edge of this. Would you stop breaking all my stuff? And we're gonna, whoops, I need to do this. There we go, great, she's, she's standing on my monitor cable so my other monitor is flashing. Get off of there, please. Thank you, okay. <laughs> I am being chaos personified today. All right, let's try that. And then we're gonna go like this and bring this out. Whoops. There's no way that's minus four. That can't be right. That can't possibly be right. Okay, we're gonna find the link here so that we can link this back up. Should probably just delete the other one and that'll show us where it is, right? Should be down here somewhere. Where is it? It's really gonna be a 4%. Why was it at like two and a quarter the one time? Yeah, see, it looks like it's right there. Yeah, it is right there. Why does it look like it's gonna go way too far? There we go. Let's try that, let's see what that does. All right, we're probably gonna to wanna to remake our other track, because this is kinda, <laughs> this is kinda bad. All right. That's weird that it changed that much. Okay, so we want to get rid of this one here. Demolish rails. And then, let's see which one of these. We've got two of them down here, didn't we? Oh no, it's just the one track, okay. All right, so we should be good on that. And I think that's all of, I think that's that whole segment there, cool. Okay, so we've got everything connected. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try, um, are we gonna bring a train up? No, we're not gonna have time to, to bring the train up. So I think we will, um, I'm gonna clear this up and we're gonna take a look at it. And yeah, I think maybe we'll try to run a train down this track. I'm trying to think of which, I think we need to, we do need to bring the cordwood cars back anyway. Let's get that going, let's get that going and I need to fix my monitor because it's still flashing now because somebody messed it up. Okay, let's get this going like this. Whoops, nope, not regulator. Going like this. There we go. And, and put the firebox back. So it is now easier to get in and out of this, which is cool. But yeah, I'm gonna go out into the editor and get all the trees cleared off and we're going to drive this down that track and uh, I will see you in just a minute. <laughs> all right, we're back and we can take a trip down the uh, track here. We'll test everything out. We'll make sure our tracks to work the way we want them to. Um, so here's the other thing. They added a speedometer, as you can see. They added a speedometer. They updated the UI a little bit here. But yeah, I think they said something about the brakes basically are either at zero or 100. They're not able to, whoa, that was interesting. Wow. Huh, that was really interesting. <laughs> it almost looks like it's going on the old tracks or something. There, it's, it's back on now. Huh, okay, let's see if we can set the brakes to like yeah, see it is. It's like slamming on the brakes, isn't it? Okay. Let's let's fix this. 
and then we'll we'll take a trip up here. I think what we're gonna do is um, we're going. I might need to just rerail stuff after after the uh, yeah here. Let's go like this. Get a little bit closer. There we go. Wow, it really didn't like that. <laughs> okay, let's go like that, and then we're gonna rerail this one. That was weird. Okay, we're gonna put the brake on. We're gonna back up here. Just a little bit. Reverser. At least the regulator. It's funny that it lets the regulator do that, but not the brakes. So I'm sure that's just something that they've, some variable they screwed up or something like that. They'll figure it out. It's not gonna be a permanent problem, I'm sure. But uh, oh man, I shouldn't I shouldn't jinx it by saying that, right? All right, so let's take that brake off. And honestly, I don't even know if it's in the engines only. If that problem is in only in the engines, or if it's something that uh, can happen in any of the cars or whatever. But yeah, let's see. It almost seems like it it was trying to go where the old track was, but there that wasn't in this save. It's not even like it was deleted from this save. So how would it know where that other track was, had been, you know? So it's not that, it can't be that. All right, I'd like to get some track underneath that and make it look like it's not floating in the middle of the air, but I'm <laughs> not sure if we're gonna be able to accomplish that. So, I, but I did get the, um, let's see the switch is still auto spring switch on us. Yep, okay, they're doing okay. And we'll see if this one, because I did move this one too. All right, looks like it's going to do fine. So we're going to come in on this one. I probably shouldn't be flipping the switches on those inter on that interface, but we'll see. Because it seems like that's where it was most likely to crash is when I'm using that interface to like move the brakes and all that stuff. That's cool. See, it shows us our speed down there. And I know some people are worried about historical accuracy, but, you know, if if you want to be worried about that, then um, um, you did have the ability to stick your head out the window and feel the wind in your face. And you can feel all the, you know, the wheels wobbling on the tracks and all the rumble and everything else. So, yeah, if you think that you were completely you were uh, limited to to some weird visual to tell how fast you were going. No, you know you're you're riding in that thing and you're going 16. I'm sure it feels a lot different than if you're riding in it and going three. <laughs> you know. All right. There's no proprioception on this on this on my GPU. Our GPUs don't do that yet. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so this is auto cleared. We're gonna try to go to, all the way down to the coal mine with this, and uh, I just wanted to run the track, and we'll see how it, how it looks. So we're not actually gonna do anything down there, and I'll probably after this, I'll probably just revert to the save that I had it back up there, but I don't know. We do need to get those cordwood cars back home somehow, some way, at some point. Okay, so this is where it starts to go downhill right here. It's going to be like a 4%, isn't it? Our speed is 22, it says. Huh. Okay. 23. Let's try to keep our speed at a reasonable amount. It's cool that it's not derailing the cars at 22. 23, right? Yeah, we'll just we'll hit the brakes here when we need to. To keep this... There we go. 24. There we go. All right. Let it speed up a little bit more again. See, it's doing okay. All right. And I don't know if it's now able to do a top speed of six, uh, 22 now instead of 16. Maybe... Maybe they're showing it in, in kilometers. <laughs> it's possible. All right. 
So let's go like this. We are, we are now on level ground. We should be on level ground all the way, all the way to the to the mine. Let's see if we can go faster than 16 now. Yeah, it must, we must have been. I think we were going down like a 1% hill or something like that, and that's why we were able to go 22. Okay. We'll let this down a little bit. See how our track looks here. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to run this at full speed, and we'll see if we hit any um, anything that's going to trip us up. Like, you know, we hit some rocks on the track or anything like that. I'm glad we got a chance to put this in, though. This looks this is going to look cool. Our little trestle bridge here. It'll probably look neater with stuff underneath it, but yeah. It looks cool when you're going through it, because you don't really see what's underneath. So, it's, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's a good addition. And let me see, what else did they do? They said that the firewood depot is not refilling log stacks back to full... Um, locomotive or car would hang in the air after a successful re-rail. Um, some cars weren't loading with cargo with the plantation cars. Um, the Shea is not... The Shea was like grabbing onto whatchamacallits. The Shea was holding onto cars and wouldn't let it uncouple. Let's see what else. It was only possible to unload cars from one side of the coal tower, and then they fixed that. Third person driving would flash for certain things on the UI. Um, engines could not be properly re-railed on the tur turntables. Yeah, it says there's a bug in UE5 where we are no longer able to set brakes at individual values. Either brake is off or on at the moment. Yeah, stay tuned for more on this bug. Yeah, they're, they're planning a fix for it. It shouldn't be that hard. I mean... It, it's a number, so it shouldn't be that hard. Unless they're using the built-in physics and relying on that for some kind of brake thing, but still, that shouldn't... I don't see how that could possibly... We're going to take this at full speed. We're going to see how this corner does. It's probably not going to do as well with the big trains. We're probably going to want to still... Yeah, that's pretty sharp. We'll see what happens. <laughs> full speed ahead. Oh, wow, that's really sharp, isn't it? Yep, it's going to do fine with Betsy and stuff, but man, that's definitely going to be a, something we're going to want to do something about later. Okay, that's fine. We can upgrade our track. As you see, it's all nice and cleared off. Nice and pretty. And cleared off and everything. Cool. This does seem like it needs to go over here and hug this a little bit more so that it's not so... Sky bridgey. We might we might do that, relay it a little bit to do that in the future. We'll probably do that when we get the big cars. When we get the big cars, we'll we'll fix this up and round that corner out a lot more because that corner is really. <laughs> I think that corner the the turn radius of that corner is shorter than one car. <laughs> one of the full length cars. But anyway, one of the other things they did was they added a. Um, they added the thing for when you buy, they added the building uh, for when you buy the cars. So we're going to go check that out in a second here. And then we can, and then we can say goodnight after that. So we'll see how this is going to look. I think this is going to work well. Cool. And there we go. All right. So yeah, it looks like everything's going to work there. Let's go like this. We're going to jump out of here. We're going to go into the buy locomotives. Check it out. How cool is that? So when you go to buy something, they've got like the little factory and they cleared out the area where the other track used to be so you can actually put stuff there. That looks kind of nice. I like the lighting in here too. It's, it's decent lighting. I wonder what it looks like at night. I guess we'll find that out soon. But yeah, that's that's pretty nice. Is it now... No, okay. I was going to say, is it now le letting you wrap around? See the big ones? Big ones still fit in there. That's cool. I don't know where that is. I'm curious as to where that is on the map now. Or if they put it on a separate map or something like that. 
Okay. There's a Tweetsie. Cool. So yeah, that's the that's the um, the new interface. No idea where it is. But yeah, they did clear out this area over here, so it's not there anymore. Because remember, there was a little segment of track on a diagonal right over here, and it would like stand your character and that kind of stuff. Can you still? Let's see if you can still. Oh yeah, you can. Cool. You can walk around. Ooh, look. Oh, you can't get through there. It's it's block. It's clipping. Oh man, we need to DN no clip, right? Let's see if we can get out of here or anything. Pine Valley Manufacturing Capacity Type hey, 309. <laughs> All right. Built 07 1890. Huh. That's pretty cool. Can we get out the ceiling or anything? No, we can't get out of the ceiling. Let's see if we can. Oh, man, it's backwards. Oh, we can't go past this either. I like the empty, like they're building, they're in the process of building stuff, that's what it is. Oh, that's cool, the half-built things. That looks pretty neat. So that's not like a Betsy that's buried in the ground, it's a it's a half-built Betsy. Well, that's cool. Can we get out the door, maybe? Let's see if it'll let us out anywhere, here, uh, anywhere else here. No. No, okay. Anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for episode 9. Join me in episode 10. What we will do is uh, we'll get our we'll get our coal mine loaded up. So that's going to be our goal for episode 10. So yeah, join me in episode 10. We'll get some coal going, and we'll see you then. Later.